photography stuff, both really delighted there to meet their heroines. I always try and jump into Carol Kirkwood's photos, but I'm a bit sad today because it's the last time we'll be together at Wimbledon. So, you know, we've been doing these 60 seconds with different players throughout the two weeks here at Wimbledon, the likes of Andy Murray, Gregor Dimitrov, Joanna Conte. Well, we've turned the tables today. We've switched from players to weather presenters. So here is a minute in the company of Carol Kirkwood. Nothing to fear. Are you ready? Yes. Here we go then. Your minute begins now. Rain or snow? Snow. Being too hot or too cold? Too hot. Favourite cloud, Monatus or Cirrus? Cirrus. A quiet night in or big night out? Big night out. Dog or cat? Cat. Brian Adams or Brian Ferry? Oh, Brian Adams. Favourite singer of a Robin Hood theme tune? <laughs> Brian Adams. Favourite Canadian? Brian Adams. <laughs> Favourite summer? Brian Adams. Uh, 69. <laughs> Walk up a mountain or lie on a beach? Lie on a beach. If you weren't a weather presenter, what would you be? A doctor. Excellent. Text or call? Call. Tea or coffee? Tea. Werewolf or vampire? Werewolf. Read or tweet? Tweet. Swim in a pool or in the sea? In a pool. If you came back as an animal, what would you come back as? Cat. Right. Be invisible or able to fly? Be invisible. Salad or fish and chips? Fish and chips. Do you prefer being on centre court or ascot? Centre Court and Ascot. Together. A <laughs> diplomatic answer. Thank you very much indeed. You. You've passed. Thank you. You were very quick, Carol, and you know what? Everything I do, I do it for you. <laughs> Brian Adams. What is it with Brian Adams? What's not to like about Brian Adams, frankly, Mike? Just his music? He, well, he's easy in the eye, too. He's a really <laughs> nice chap. I've met him a couple of times, and he's lovely, and he's so unassuming for somebody that is so hugely talented. I oh, really absolutely, like yeah. And I'm fascinated to hear that you could have been a doctor. I've got this problem with my foot. <laughs> are, are you trained? Are you... <laughs> no, well, I can do first aid, but I think we're beyond it down there. Oh, yeah. In your foot, yes. Bless Chop you. it off. That's all I say. <laughs> anyway, look, an emotional moment. I know, it's been fabulous being here the last couple of weeks and working with you has been an absolute joy. It has, but I'm off. Yeah, well, see you soon, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> well, the weather's not been so much of a joy in the last couple of weeks at Wimbledon. We've had a real old mixture and today it's a similar story. We've started off on a fairly cloudy note. We've also had some drizzle this morning, but as we go through the morning, slowly it will start to improve and we will see some sunshine. In fact, by the afternoon, it's looking rather pleasant. Highs up to 24, even though it says 21 on the charts. Now, we've also got a lot of cloud across many other parts of the UK. We've had some rain overnight, some of which has been heavy. That's going to be pushing away into the North Sea. So, 9 o'clock this morning across the southeast, you can see where we've got the rain. That's a weather front that's going to slip down towards Kent and then eventually clear. So, still a lot of cloud around. As we move to the other side of the rain, again, still quite a bit of cloud as we push up across northern England. One or two bits of it now starting to break. Some rain across northeast England making its way into the North Sea. And we've got bright spells, sunshine and showers across Scotland. One or two showers left after the overnight rain across northern Ireland. And for Wales, similar story. You've got quite a lot of cloud around this morning and some showers. Then we run into the other end of the weather front, across the Midlands, down into the southwest of England. So there's a more cloud particularly in the southwest where it's quite a dank start to the day but the cloud extends across southern counties generally now through the day that weather front will clear Kent and the south so it will brighten up but Kent will be the last place for it to brighten up for many of us we're looking at a day of sunny spells just a few showers some heavy showers could occur across eastern England, but again, the hit and miss, many of us will miss them. Temperatures 14 to about 24, so feeling sticky in the southeast. And then as we head on into the evening, most of the showers will tend to fade. Overnight, the cloud continues to build in the west, heralding the arrival of our next area of low pressure, bringing in some rain. Now, as a result of this, of course, it's not going to be a cold night, and around the band of rain, it will be quite blustery. So tomorrow, we start off with the cloud and the rain, moving once again west to east into the North Sea. We'll have the remnants of it, though, across parts of northern England, the borders of Scotland, parts of north and west Wales, and to the north of that band of rain, it's bright spell sunshine and showers once again. To the south of it, brightening up some sunny spells and just a few showers. And it will feel sticky once again in the southeast with temperatures into the mid-20s. Elsewhere, we're looking at a range 15 to 21. 
By Sunday, we've got a north and west split compared to the south and east. So in the north and the west, it's going to be bright spells, sunshine and showers. In the south and the east, when we see the clearings of early morning cloud and rain, it will brighten up with fewer showers and highs again into the low 20s. And John and Steph, the pollen levels today, well, across the board, more or less, they are high once again. Never mind the pollen levels. What about Mac Watch? Where's the Mac gone? We started with your zipped up fully <laughs> and now you're just down to your dress. It's a good job, it's your last hit. <laughs> Goodness knows Steph, where we'd you be. Are awful, but I like you. Talk to Carol Kirkwood. Thank yeah, you very much indeed for this week. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>